What's good, everybody? What's good? Um, it's a course of the and prophecy, and today I'm gonna be talking about the New York football giants. Now, I didn't watch the game, um, cause I was uh, out. I was out and about, you know what I'm saying? I was out and about. But, since Christmas is coming, I'm trying to find like a Knicks hat like this, but it's 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 not even remotely close. Um, I found a hat, I mean, I found a hat like this with the Knicks on it, but it's not decorated like this. It's just, it's like, it's, it's like this hat. It's, it's it has like orange, and it's all bluish, and it has a, it has like the Knicks logo, but it doesn't flash. It doesn't have it. It doesn't have any lights to it or whatever. And then if you turn off the lights, see it glows in the dark. So I'm gonna keep the dark. I'm gonna keep the light off because this is my dark room. Um. My dark room is basically my room where I lash out my frustrations. Um, so the New York Giants wind up wind up winning this game. Um, they won. What was what was the score? Um, I think it was like ten to seven or something like that. I have my phone right here. I mean my tablet right here. I don't know why that shit dies out on me. Dang, I had this tablet since I was living with my sister. So the New York Giants won 10-7. to um, Listen, I said what I have to say. You know, I'm not going to go back and forth. Um, I'm just talking about the draft pick. You know, I'm just simply talking about the draft pick. I don't give a damn how many games we win, how many games we lose. Okay? I'm just concerned about the draft pick. Alexa. Alexa. Hold on, is there a mic on Alexa, where do the New York Giants? Alexa. The Packers and the Giants will. Alexa. Alexa. Where do the New York Giants pick in this year's draft? Alexa. Where do the New York Giants pick in this year's draft? In the 2023 NFL Draft, the New York Giants are scheduled to make seven selections. Their first selection is slated for the 25th spot in the first round, followed by picks in the second, third, fifth, sixth, and seventh rounds. Okay, that's 23rd. I'm, I was asking for 24th, but obviously um, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Like... I don't, I don't dislike my Giants, but I just don't like the way the Giants are doing. You know, I don't like the way the Giants have been handling their situation. So the Giants beat the the the, the Giants beat the Patriots uh, ten to zero, uh, ten to seven. Um, next. Two weeks from now, was it two weeks from now? December 11th. So, yeah, two weeks from now, the Giants will be facing the new, uh, the, the Green Bay Packers on ABC. Primetime game, another primetime game. Um, so, if you look at, uh, let me see, NF. Uh, draft. Now, t 
today's video, like I said, is basically the New York Giants on why I think the New York Giants um, are doing this the wrong way. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people um, want the New York Giants to win. You know, they don't want to, you know, keep on, you know, they don't want to keep on sitting with the same face like, oh, my God, we lost again. Oh, my God, we lost again. You know, like they want to build, I don't know what the F we building, but I, I, I guess the fans want the Giants to go off on a high note, knowing that Daniel Jones is still going to be their quarterback, okay? Daniel Jones is still going to be their quarterback. Because you can't get rid of Daniel Jones. A lot of people, I hear a lot of people on 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 YouTube and and and, and, and IG saying that, well, oh, we got to get rid of Daniel Jones. Nobody in their right mind is taking it on that contract. And if we release him in it or we traded him, that's still going to be on our cap hit. And when we need to go out and f sign the free agents that we need, we can't because we got handcuffed by the Giants, right? So the Giants right now are probably going to pick at number nine. Green Bay is picking at number nine, right? So the Giants are going to fall to... Well, the Giants had the number three, third pick, right? The Giants were projected to pick number third, number three. They won like two straight. They won against uh, Washington twice. So... That slid them all the way down to five. Now they beat the Patriots. So that's probably going to slid them down another one, two, three, four. That's going to slid them down another four slots, depending on what Tennessee, Washington has to buy, and Falcons and the uh, Packers, right? So we're going to be picking at number five. Oh, no, we're going to be picking. Right now we are picking at number five. But as of today... Or as of tomorrow, we're gonna to be picking at number nine. So we went from third, we went, we went from th having the third pick, the fifth pick, all the way now to the ninth pick. And you know, you could say, well, it doesn't really matter where we draft; it's how we draft. And you're right. You know, uh, we've seen a lot of great players pick low, high, especially the lows, or actually, especially the highs, and wind up to be. Hall of Famers, you know, you look at Peyton, uh, not Peyton Manning, uh, Tom Brady, you know what I'm saying, uh, Wells Welker, you know, so you can find gems in, in, in the draft, you know, yeah, like you can pick at number 24, like like Houston and find a stud, you can pick at number 13, like LA Rams and find a stud, you can pick at number 27 with the 49ers, 26 in Dallas and still find a stud, you know what I'm saying, you just got to know how to drive. You know, you just got to know how to drive. So I'm going to look at Walter football. Oh, hold on. Walter. You know, you just got to know how to, you just got to know how to pick. You know, like I don't like I I really I I I really could care less about the wins, you know. I just want the Giants to build off. I I just want the Giants to build, not really build. Yeah, I I just want the Giants to do the right thing, you know. Um. But sometimes the right thing isn't the right thing. Sometimes, right. Like, you want the Giants to pick low so they can at least grab these quarterbacks that's going to be game changers in the near future, right? Like, you want these, you want, you want the Giants to pick a quarterback so if Daniel Jones can't play or he's out, Because I don't think Daniel Jones is going to last a season next year. I really don't. So Caleb Williams is probably going to go number one to the Bears. Okay. 
Because the Bears have the number one pick. Drake May is probably going to go to the to the Cardinals. Anthony G, Anthony, Anthony, I don't know. Anthony C, Anthony Richardson. I mean, this is two thousand twenty-three. You know, like these draft picks don't mean nothing. I mean, not draft picks. These 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 wins don't mean nothing. They really don't. Um, and I'm not saying this because we have a poor record. We have a poor record for a reason. You know, we were supposed to. We were supposed to capitalize on what we did last year, get better, get stronger, right? But we digressed for some odd reason. And then Daniel Jones started get hurt, and we and we franchise tagged Saquon Barkley, and we still gave Daniel Jones the bag, knowing that he's injury prone. He got hurt. He came back. He got hurt again. He's out for the season. Tyrod Taylor was supposed to be our second backup quarterback. He got hurt. I don't think he's coming back neither. I think they're probably going to shut him down too. So, according to the Chicago Bears, the Chicago Bears is probably going to have the number one pick. Or not even probably. They will have the number one pick. And they will pick Caleb, Caleb Williams out of UC. Out of USC. Okay? Second pick... Marvin Harrison is obviously going to be off the board. I said that in my other video. I wanted the Giants to grab Marvin Harrison Jr. Unless they do like a package trade or something, you know. I don't see the Giants picking Marvin Harrison Jr. Number three, obviously, the Patriots are going to stay at number three and pick Drake May from North Carolina. The Bears have the fourth pick, and they will pick, and these are just mocks, so you don't really know who's going to be picking, um, but they have the New York Giants, and they have the New York Giants at number five, picking Brandon Thomas Jr., another LSU receiver, like we haven't gone through that bullcrap enough, um... So, obviously, we're not even going to be picking number five. Um, so, yeah. So, most of these draft picks are not even valid. Um, but, I mean, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, okay. Y'all yeah, yeah, want me to be real? We have two options, okay? We have two options. Now, we ha we have a boatload of draft picks. I believe we have 12 draft picks entering this, this year's draft. We can do a trade. We can do a trade. And we can trade... And pick Marvin Harrison Jr. It's going to cost us a lot of draft picks. But in order for us to get Marvin Harrison Jr., we're going to have to break the bank. Will this work? I don't know. It worked out for Julio Jones and the Atlanta Falcons. Remember that trade? They traded half of their damn picks, future picks for Julio Jones. It worked out, you know. When we did it and drafted Landon Collins, right? Not really drafted, but we traded to get Landon Collins. It didn't work out. 
he and he he was also Alabama. So no trades don't necessarily work. They pan out. Some of some of them do pan out, right? Like that Eli Manning and Philip Rivers trade, that panned out for us. Others didn't. So we could go that route. Or number two, we could not pick a quarterback, pick an offensive line, get this offensive line fixed, and build around Daniel Jones. Continue wing to build around Daniel Jones. Because newsflash, Giants fans, newsflash. We're going to go into next season with the same exact roster. Now, I know a lot of people are going to, a lot of players are going to leave this, the, the team, right? Because obviously their contracts is going to be up. And whether the Giants want to renew them or not, restructure them or not, maybe they'll probably take pay cuts. Who else? Who knows? I think we did get a package in the Leonard William trade. I'm not sure. Um, but I believe we got a draft pick from the um Yeah, I think that I think the Giants gave up a fourth round pick and Leonard Williams or to trade Leonard Williams. But I I don't know the full details of that trade. Um All right, so the Giants took on the large chunk of Williams' remaining contract to get a second-round pick and a 2025 fifth-rounder. Had they simply let Williams walk after this year, at best they might have received a fourth-round compensatory pick in the 2025. So So considering the New York Giants or the Giants got a second-rounder in return, which they wouldn't have, gotten as a complimentary pick. Complimentary picks start in the third round. This is a tremendous deal for the Giants. So all this is All right, so thanks to their win over Washington, losses by the Chicago Bears, Arizona Cardinals, and Carolina Panthers, the Giants now hold their fifth overall pick in their 2024 NFL draft, down from the second overall pick they held coming into Week 11. As of now, the Giants hold their fifth pick, 36-55 via Seattle, 69, 104, 141, and 181. In return, the Giants receive a 2024 second round draft choice and a 2025 fifth round selection. The giant the, the trade gives the Giants a total of seven picks. To, uh, the trade gives the Giants a total of seven total selections. In their 2000 NFL, in the in their 2024 NFL draft, and eight in the 2025 draft. So the Giants have seven, which is obviously the minimum, right? 
most people have, most teams have 12. I remember the Browns had like a, a ridiculous 13 picks and they whiffed them on all, you know. Uh, but the minimum is seven, right? Obviously seven. Uh, next year, the Giants will have eight in total. So the Giants will obviously still have their traditional seven round picks. Um, so, or like I said, you know, we could, you know, do what I did. I mean, do, do, we could do what I said um, before, which was um, we could trade the pick to get Marvin Harrison, but it's going to cost us, right? It's going to cost us. Seeing that we're going into this year's draft with just seven picks, we might as well we we might as well just trade three of them. That'll leave us with five picks, right? Or let me see, seven, six, five. So that'll leave us with at least five picks if we're just doing it fourth, two fourths, one one second, and a player, right? A player that we don't need for Marvin Harrison Jr., but it has to be the right player. Okay, if that don't work, we could this this the second option is we could build around Daniel Jones. We can continue we could continue building around Daniel Jones, which we have been doing for the past several years now, and nothing has worked. You know, we made some big splashes this offseason, getting, getting Campbell, Waller, you know what I'm saying? And nothing has worked. We digressed, right? So, Giants fans, this is going to be, um, and hold on, the 2024 schedule. And I know the schedule is way, way out of proportion, Or was it 2025? Yeah, that 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 that's way out of proportion to to to, to say what our 2025 schedule is going to be looking like, you know, because we don't know what's going to be in order. Who are we going to face? You know, you know the the first. The first season. So this is the Giants 2025 schedule. Right? We got the Bears. Not even in order. Not a, not even in any order. So we got Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Detroit, Vegas, Dallas, Philly, Packers, Minnesota, Kansas City, LA Rams, Philly, Washington and Washington. And it says NFC East. To be determined, NFC South, to, I mean, NFC West to be determined, NFC South to be determined. So, if this is true, that we're going to be facing the NFC North, the NFC, the NFC North, and we're going to be facing the AFC West. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know how true this is, but obviously, damn, we're going to be facing some stiff competition. Stiff competition, I should say. But like I said, um, you know, that's the two choices, you know. Trade for Marvin Harrison or build around Daniel Jones the best that, the best we can. I mean, how long we ha how long have we been building around Daniel Jones? It didn't take that long to build around Eli, right? Like it didn't take that long to build around Eli. Yeah, he struggled his rookie year, but it took him what, two thousand four, five, six Seven, it took him four years to get it together. 
And then from 2007, it took him another 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It took him another four years to get it together. We're not really to get it together, but for the team to build around him again. And then after that, he just started to implode. So, congratulations, New York Giants. You played yourself. You played yourself, and um, you played yourself. Because all that, that's, that's all you had to do. All you had to do was just lose. Because these mean, these games mean shit. These, may, these games mean dog crap. And if anybody says otherwise, they're fooling themselves. They're fooling themselves. Just like... Just like T-Sizzle said to Skip Bayless. Skip. Skip. It ain't it, 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 Skip. You know, what they think, you know what they call that, Skip? Mediocrity. We suck. We're not good. We're not good. And I know a bad team when I see one. Trust me, I'm a Knicks fan. I've been through far worse. I've been through far, far worse. You know, so there's no, there's no hokey dokes. There's no hokey pokey. There's no magic trick. There's no nothing. I've seen it all. I've seen my Knicks go down through the gutter. You know, and I'm not comparing the Knicks to the New York Giants, but you see how management changes a franchise if you look at my Knicks from early 2000 all the way to 2012 massive change massive change from now to then we have bad people bad bad not really bad people but we just have people who didn't know what they were doing we had management that didn't know what they were doing they were overpaying for people they overpaid for 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 Joaquin Noah. I mean that would that contract was ridiculous, stupid. But if you look at my Knicks now, they're doing things the right way. They're just lacking a star that can get over the hump. Same thing with the New York Giants. The New York Giants are facing the same dilemma as my New York Knicks. The New York Giants have. People in the organization that that do not know what they're doing. The owners putting trust in the wrong hands. Cause look at the 49ers. Look how you remember um they were bad the, that following year. They I think I think they finished like eight and eight or seven and or seven and nine. And then what happened? Boom. They got freaking um Lynch. They got they got lynched in the office. They fired everybody. They did their 360. They fired their coach, the GM, except for the owner, obviously. They did a 360. Now look at them. Now look at them. They went from bad to good, super good. I still don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl because I think, I think that ship sailed a long time ago. If they was going to win the Super Bowl, they was going to win it with uh, Jimmy G. When Jimmy G lost that Super Bowl to Patrick Mahomes, I said that, yeah, they're, 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 they're never going to win another Super Bowl. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to add another Lombardi trophy to that. To that. Well, how many, how many Super Bowls that is? Four? I think they tied with the Cowboys with five Super Bowls. So another, another Super Bowl wouldn't hurt. But we're not going anywhere next year. So don't even expect anything out of us next year. Like Daniel Jones might have a bounce back year because, you know, if you look at Peyton Manning, you know, he, he had that neck surgery. He was out all of that year. He came back. The Colts had the worst record. I think they were like 2-13 and 13 or 2-12. and 12. I think they uh, yeah, I think they were like two and thirteen. They had the number one pick. They picked Andrew Luck. And they didn't want that, 
you know, con- they didn't want that controversy with 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 Peyton Manning and and whoever they picked at number one. Obviously, Andrew Luck. They didn't want them button heads. Like, who's gonna start? You know what I'm saying? So they shipped Peyton Manning to Denver, and at Denver, obviously Peyton Manning, you know, said that you know where you ship me at. All right, you know. Instead of instead of the Colts being patient and trusting Peyton Manning. They sold them out. They sold them out. They say, ah, you know what? You're done. You're you're finished. You know we don't want your neck problems anymore. Look what he did to the forty. Look what he did when he went to Denver. He was putting up forty plus points every single game. That two thousand. That I think that two thousand thirteen season. He was aver- He was averaging four touchdowns per game. So that tells you, don't give up, you know, don't give up, you know. But then again, I mean, Daniel Jones, is he is who he is, you know. Like, like I don't know how the Giants don't see that. Like, I've, I've even given him, I even said Daniel Jones was going to have a breakout year this year. He didn't. He fooled me. I did say the Giants was going to take a step back. This year, I said this. Is, I said this like around August. I think they were facing the Jets. I said that. Watch the Giants are gonna have a a, a major letback, a major a major letdown this year. You know, and now my friends saying, "Man, you a hater, man. Like you supposed to be a Giants man. Like why you why you saying that about your team? You know." And I said that because I know this team be. I know this team like an open book. You know what I'm saying? Like they do good this year and the next year they just. Falter down the stretch, you know what I'm saying. And then, like after the season, he came to me and said, "Damn, damn, Walter, you're right. Shoot, how the hell you know that? How the hell you knew that?" And this was, and this was, and this was 2008. This is when they were pretty good, right? They was coming off that Super Bowl win, right? And then following their 2009 season, they started off five and zero, beating mediocre teams. Right, teams that either finished last in the division or didn't make the playoffs that year. And what happened? They faltered down the stretch. That was the exact same season. I said that okay. Watch they watch they have a melt that watch they have a meltdown this year. And this is was. And this was and this was Eli Manning playing with young receivers. He was playing with a Knicks, a Manningham, a Steve Smith. He was finding who was X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Like Daniel Jones did not have that opportunity, even though he had a lot of young receivers still in the still still in their early twenties. But you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the Giants are going to do. I don't know 